$14,400 this year with monthly checks for the low income. I have all the details and exactly what you need to know right here in the video. Let's get right into it. All right, now in this video, I do wanna discuss the details of a program which would send out $14,400 worth of checks this year in 2024, specifically focused on the low income. Now, for those of you that are receiving a fixed income benefit like social security, retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, spousal, SSI, VA, or a whole variety of others, yes, you would most likely be included as well because remember, eligibility is strictly based on income, which I will talk about more here in just a minute as I will talk through all the details of this program. Now, anyway, I do wanna share with you the details of this program and $14,400 this year. Sounds pretty good, right? Yeah, exactly. That's why I wanna talk about it. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. Really fast before we do, thanks for joining me. I truly do appreciate it. If you have not done so yet, make sure to do a huge favor for yourself and hit that subscribe button right down below as it is a super busy time of year and there's a lot of things going on between now and November because we all know what is coming and it's going to be very, very busy. 2024 is the year of the low income and fixed income beneficiaries of Social Security and all those that I've talked about so many times in other videos. Also, make sure to do me a huge favor down below as well in the comment section. Leave a comment down there. Let me know what I can do to better serve you, how I can provide more value. What can I do for you to continue advocating on your behalf? Obviously, continue bringing you these videos, but what else can I do for you? Seriously, I am here for you in any way that I possibly can be. I look forward to reading your comments down below. Thank you. Subscribe. Leave that comment. I appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to reading what you have to say as far as what I can do to better serve you here in this community. All right. Thanks so much. We've got to stick together through this time. Let's get into it and talk about $14,400 this year in the form of monthly checks. Now, I wanna clarify really quickly. No, $14,400 not on a monthly basis, but rather $14,400 for the entire year is what this comes out to be, okay? So there is a program out there and this has been introduced in Congress and there are multiple different lawmakers out there right now in Congress that are supporting this, okay? There are many different co-signers on this legislation and this is exactly what they wanna do. now. I wanna bring this to your attention because we know that there's gonna be a lot of different things that are introduced this year, 2024, right? We know that there are a lot of different packages, bills, proposals, all kinds of things out there. And we know that this year is incredibly pivotal. And like I've said before, and I've said, I'm gonna say it again really fast here. 2024 is the year of the low income and fixed income. It's going to be nuts. The closer and closer we get to November, the more the promises are gonna come rolling out, okay? A lot of things are gonna be thrown out, a lot of big promises, big bold claims, and a lot of times they'll need to be held to that, okay? So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. However, let's talk about the details of this because this is a piece of legislation that's out there and I wanna cover the details of this because I've mentioned this before many times in other videos. It's inevitable. At some point, there will be a nationwide guaranteed basic income program, a universal basic income. In other words, uh, a basically just a fancy way of saying ongoing monthly checks, ongoing monthly stimulus checks, ongoing no strings attached payments for low income and fixed income beneficiaries below a certain threshold, okay? That's exactly what this is about. Now, this is out of what's called the Support Act. That's the piece of legislation. If you'd like to look it up, by all means, go for it. That's the name of it, the Support Act, okay? Here's what this wants to do. Send out $1,200 ongoing monthly checks every single month, specifically focused on low income. Now, how do they identify low income? Great question. And like I said earlier in the video, this is what I wanna clarify for you really quickly. They identify low income as an individual with an income under $75,000 or a married couple with an income under $150,000. Not a bad low income, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty nice low income right there. Anyway, sorry, just had to throw my opinion into that. Seems like a very high low income in my opinion. But anyway, here's what they wanna do. They wanna implement these ongoing monthly checks. Now, here's the deal with this program. This would be a five-year thing, okay? This is not like indefinitely. It would not be a thing that happens forever, but this is something that they would wanna implement for five years according to the legislation as of right now. Now, another thing that they wanna do as well, and they've been doing this for years. In fact, they've been doing this basically since the middle part of 2020 is when this started to really rolling out quite a bit. So it's been, you know, quite a few years here since they've already been doing this. But as a result of this legislation, they also want to set up hundreds of pilot programs across the country doing exactly this, basically taking a small uh, subset of people and basically sending out ongoing monthly checks in the amount of $500 a month 
for this for these people to basically see hey is the program effective is it helpful is it a um, is it what is it doing is it is it a good thing and what are the you know the effects of sending out ongoing monthly checks that are no strings attached well they've been doing it for years now since about mid 2020 is when they started doing this there's well over 100 of these guaranteed basic income programs currently in play right now all across the country and guess what they're effective they work they're successful they find that the beneficiaries who get the money spend it on things like necessities and they find that they have a, a higher quality of life really wow that's shocking i didn't see that one coming right <laughs> i think we can all probably agree if somebody gave us 500 dollars a month ongoing for a year or two or something like that do you think our quality of life would be higher hmm that's a no-brainer i think everybody would agree yep my life would be a little bit better, right? My quality of life would be a bit better if I got no strings attached, $500 or whatever for a, a month for the next year or two or five or whatever it happens to be, right? Anyway, same situation goes here with this, with the $1,200 per month. Now, I wanna clarify really quickly. All of these little pilot programs that are going on all across the country are typically very, very small, as in they take a small subset of a certain city or a county and they choose maybe 100 people, 500 people, People, maybe a thousand people something like this it's generally a very small percentage of people now the whole program that I'm talking about here as represented by the support act $1,200 per month ongoing for five years would be nationwide this would be administered by the federal government versus a small local government uh, in these other cases of the pilot programs big big difference why why I say that small local governments don't have that much money well Okay, let's be fair. They have a lot of money. They're just not allocating it to this type of purpose, right? They have a ton of money. They spend it on other things that, you know, may not be beneficial to that many people. But when it comes down to the federal government, they have literally unlimited amounts of money. Why do I say that? Because anytime that they want more, they just push the print button. Boom, we got a trillion, okay? <laughs> they basically just print it whenever they want it. So they have unlimited amounts of money. There's really no kind of downfall. There's no setback here. They can do whatever they want. So. The whole purpose there, uh, a nationwide program administered by the federal government would be all encompassing by the way, okay? This would be all across the entire country, all states, territories, uh, things like this would be included. Whereas a small pilot program in you know, a small portion of a city in some whatever state, again, that's just local to that one area right there. It's not all encompassing. Whereas nationwide is all encompassing. All the states, all the cities, all the counties, all the people, things like this, right? Does that kind of make sense? So anyway, I want to bring your, this to your attention really fast here because this is another one of those programs that's out there. And again, it would not be that difficult for Congress to pass something like this through that would really help out a lot of people in a major way. Now, another thing that I want to point to really fast when we continue to see the economic uh, the economic situation, the economic contraction, the economic recession, whatever we want to call it, continue to become more exacerbated, as in gets worse and worse and worse, and the economic conditions are not very good, the likelihood of a program like this or additional stimulus checks, one-off checks, monthly checks, um, a specified number of checks, stuff like this becomes greater and greater. Why? Because it stimulates the economy. When the economy is down, when the economy is in a recession, when the economy is crashing and burning, they need to inject money into it in big, big amounts to stimulate it. They've done it many times before, and this next time will be no exception to the rule. And not only that, one little icing on the cake or the cherry on top would be what is coming in November. We all know what's coming in November, right? So do you think leading up to that, there's going to be some maybe bold statements that are made? Do you think there's going to be some promises thrown out there? Do you think there's going to be a couple different people coming out suggesting, we'll do this, we'll give you the world and all kinds of stuff like that, right? We've heard it before. We know how these games are played, right? So anyway, we've got to listen to what's going on. We also need to watch what's going on, right? Anybody can say anything. We need to watch the actions is what's most important, right? So anyway, we got to stick together during this time, make sure to subscribe down below. I will continue to be here for you. I'll keep you informed of what's going on. And maybe it's about time to draft another letter that we should send over to these people and remind them, hey, you guys have a job because you were elected into these positions, right? Maybe you should do something for the American people who put you here in the first place, right? So I don't know. Maybe it's about time to do that. Let me know down below in the comment section. I'm here for you in any way that I can be. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you've done so yet. 
Share the video if you'd, if you'd like with your friends, family, social media. Go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Take care. Have a good one. And I appreciate it. I look forward to reading your comments down below as far as what I can do to better serve you. I'm here for you in any way that I can be. Enjoy. Take care. Have a good one. And catch you again later.